Well, Bolivia's toppled President Evo Morales has fled to Mexico to seek political asylum after stepping down at the military's suggestion. Mexico's foreign ministry confirmed the embattled president will be granted asylum on arrival. More in this report. Caving into mounting pressure from the military, Bolivia's President Evo Morales resigned yesterday. He tried to hold on to power after winning a controversial election last month. <laughs> But public anger isolated him and he ran out of allies. For now, Bolivia's military is seeking to restore public order and has mounted armed street patrols in La Paz and other cities. Meanwhile, police have arrested over 30 election commission officials suspected of being complicit in the rigging of last month's elections. The only thing I want is to provide solution to this horrible crisis we are going through. Let it be clear this is a transition. It is just to call for elections and for it to be transparent, just like the people of Bolivia want. They need it. We don't want uncertainty. It is absolutely necessary to call on for elections and for the Bolivian people to choose their government. U.S. President Donald Trump says Morales' resignation is a warning to other Latin American leaders at loggerheads with Washington. Venezuela's President Nicolas Maduro has blamed Trump for overthrow of Bolivia's president. The coup d'etat against Evo Morales in Bolivia was financed and directed from the White House, as have all the coup d'etats in Latin America and the Caribbean in the last hundred years or more. The Organization of American States will meet in Washington today to discuss the situation in Bolivia.